Also at the show, don't call it a simulator, but Redbird has a new helicopter training device that's really taking off. AOPA pilot senior editor Dave Hirschman flew the Redbird VTO. Learning to fly helicopters has always required a soft touch, steely nerves, and lots of expensive practice. Redbird Flight Simulations believes it can alter the economic part of that description with a new tool it calls the VTO. It stands for vertical takeoff. And of course, the, the probably the biggest difference with the simulator is, is we're not even calling it a simulator. It's a trainer. And if you look at uh, if you look at the most difficult, most costly things to train primary pilots in helicopters, it's hovering, ground maneuvers, and auto rotations. And they're not only expensive and frustrating to learn, but they can be dangerous sometimes too. And there haven't been any simulators on the market under about 15 million dollars that you've been able to train those maneuvers in because you don't fly a helicopter by seeing that you're falling, you fly it by feeling that you're falling. How does the VTO fly? Well, I'm no helicopter pilot, but it sure seems realistic. A few minutes at the controls gives me cotton mouth and sweaty palms, and that's a testament to its realism. Oh. <laughs> Dave Hirschman, AOPA Live. Every Thursday, we're working to get you answers. The most experienced reporters in general aviation. Bring you more details as they develop. The stories that affect you. We talk with our own safety expert. Every Thursday, AOPA Live, this week.